This is Oost Laser. This game was introduced to me by a friend, and I had really never known about it before. I feel like this game is never talked about, I think that's because it's in that kind of awkward phase where it has a huge dedicated player base, but it's not really hitting new volumes of players. To be honest, I didn't know that much about this game at all. I only really understand two of the four modes, and I'm not really that good at either of them. Oos is a rhythm game. I don't know why it's called Oos, or why it's pronounced Oos, but this game caught my attention because I absolutely adore its user interface design. This game may not have real-time ray tracing or HDR light balancing, but Oos is one of the most beautiful games I've played. Hello and welcome to Oos. Let's learn how to play. So, Oos is a game about circles. When the approach circle touches the edge of the inner circle, that's your cue to click it. You can then earn more score by accurately syncing your clicks to the music. Give these circles a try. As a concept, Oos is pretty simple. Click the thing at the right time. At slow speeds, it might seem only mildly entertaining at best. However, like most rhythm games, the only thing needed is a slight increase in speed and number, and suddenly, I no longer wonder why this game has such a dedicated community. Yeah, most people play this with a drawing tablet. At any rate, the simplicity of Oast makes it quite easy to get into it for the most part. For the most part. I've got no idea what's going on in this drummer mode, or whatever this is. Being such a simple visual-based game, it makes sense that the interface is highly considered. You need to be able to understand what's going on without having to think about it. The circle-on-circle -circle timing indicator, for example, is very intuitive and pretty common in other games too. But what I really appreciate about this game is that it goes above and beyond to make the entire interface feel snappy, practical, and intuitive while retaining natural movement. Let me show you what I mean. Watch as I enter the song list from the start screen. That's quick, but still smooth. You can navigate to the song list by clicking start, then play, then solo, but you can also get there extremely quickly by simply clicking the main button three times. That makes it very simple to get into gameplay. Notice how the button directly to the right of the main button is the one that reacts to the main button. That pulse makes it super clear which button you're pressing, which arguably might not even be needed because the main button always activates the button to its right. And that's just one button! The menus are also intuitively easy to navigate with keyboard only. One element of interface design that's often overlooked is the extra time it takes to move your hand between the keyboard and the mouse. It may not seem like much, but having an interface able to be entirely controlled without having to move your hands makes such a big difference. Enter or space acts as the main button. You can use left and right arrows to scroll through songs, up and down to scroll through beat maps, and any keyboard input will be fed into the live search bar. I love live search. Check this out. Almost anywhere in the game, you can scroll to adjust the volume, which is really convenient when you're in the middle of a song and suddenly it starts blasting your ears out. There are also individual bubbles for effects and music that you can simply hover over to adjust separately. You can also hover over the music player icon, which has a little gauge of the master volume. Not everyone is into interface sounds, but I love them. Take a listen to the settings panel. It's all so perfect and intentional. While I can't say I'm usually a fan of this connected settings panel, I can give it a pass because it helpfully keeps focus on the current category by fading the others until they take up the majority of your view. Listen to the sound when entering the main menu compared to leaving it. Now, listen to the chords as you enter the song list. It goes from D5 to A minor to D major. Don't worry if you don't know what that means. Basically, it goes from the ambiguous harmony of entering the game, to tension when you choose the first option and are presented with more, to release when you finally enter the song list. The sound may seem like such a minor detail, but they make such a difference. Listen to the song list navigation. so nice. Coming back to the visual aspect, the animations are smooth, but never sluggish, slow, or sudden. 
The responsiveness of an interface depends a lot on how elements transition and how long it takes them to do so. Oos's interface transitions feel perfect. The buttons bounce, the panels glide, and everything just feels right. This interface is so perfect, and obviously this isn't even the main focus of the game. Oos is a wonderful game with a wonderful community. Oos is not only completely free, but also open source on GitHub. I have immense respect for the developer team, Peppy, even if they make all their stuff really hard to read. Everything about the user interface is built for maximum speed and efficiency, while feeling incredibly satisfying to use. There's just nothing quite like it, except maybe butter.